Hey everyone, let's talk about the layer stack in Adobe After Effects. So why learn about the layer stack? Understanding the layer stack is essential for animation as that dictates visibility, organization, and how different objects interact with each other. I have my own project here that I'm using, but you could follow along on your own projects at home. By the way, this is a reused asset from one of our social media tutorials. You could find us on Instagram at Noble Desktop, by the way. <laughs> Shameless plug over there. So where is layer stack? It's over here. This is the layer stack. And I could see that it extends into the timeline over here, you know, where we uh, mark all the seconds and all the frames. We have tutorial on the timeline as well, by the way. And you can see that I've personally color coded them. I'm gonna show you how to do that later. But you can see that the purple layer that says hello is purple over here. You know, the red label over here extends over here. You know, the particles that uh, you'll see in this animation as I play it eventually. All right, so let's take the text layer here that says hello, this purple one, and I'm gonna click and drag it to go beneath the circle layer over here. Now you can see it disappeared, right? I could still like manipulate it and stuff. I could still like animate it and move it around, but I can't see it because it's being covered by the circle. And again, keep in mind that sandwich metaphor. So I've essentially just taken the bread and I've put it beneath the turkey. So if I toggle off the visibility, like this eyeball icon over here, I can see that it, my layer is still there. My turkey layer, my text layer that says hello is still there, but it's being covered up right now. And if I took my turkey layer and I put it all the way behind my bottom bread layer, well then it's completely underneath everything else. It's actually a pretty cool look. I like the way it looks. Um, and if I hide my bottom bread layer, my yellow gradient layer, well, See, my circle's still there. It's just all the way at the bottom and everything else is covering it. You know, my particles go down here and now it's behind that instead. So again, this layer stack is dictating what's in front of what. So now I've got kind of this mixed up sandwich. So I want to put my sandwich back together the way that it was. So I'm going to grab my bread layer, my background, pull it down there. And actually everything else is back together the way it was. That wasn't too hard. Now let's say you actually want to rename these layers. So click the layer you want to rename and hit return or enter depending on your machine. And I'm going to type in BG for background and click anywhere else in the interface. And that's it. Now if I hit here, layer name, it'll show me the source name. Like hello is still the same but it's showing me what the original name, like what is the name of the file or the asset itself. And if I click again, layer name is kind of like, think of it as a nickname, what I want it to go by, you know? Now, like I mentioned before, this eyeball here, that's the visibility icon. So if I turn it off and on, then I'm hiding that layer. Now I could still access it and stuff. I could still move it around and, you know, play with it. But I mean, it's invisible, that would be kind of hard. But it's good for getting a look at whatever's underneath this layer. Now, let's say I want to edit stuff, but I don't want to mess up where, you know, this text layer over here. I'm going to hit this lock icon over there, and now I can't grab this. I can't grab this anywhere. You see, I'm trying to grab it, but I'm grabbing the layers underneath it. Now, if I were to lock that circle icon, I can't grab that. Now, I'm grabbing the particles underneath it, and I've locked that, so I can't move that. Now, I'm grabbing the background over here. I can't move that. You know, let's say I lock the background. I can't move anything, you know, but I'm unlocking by clicking it again, the circle, and now... I can move it around without messing up anything else. Well, what if there's too much going on in your animation and you wanna just focus on one thing and you don't wanna to have to go through and hide everything and lock everything? See this circle over here? Let's say I just wanna work on the circle. See the circle over here? Let's say I just wanna you know, mess around with the text. I'm gonna hit the solo, that's the solo icon over here on my text layer and now I could just do animation with my text. That's actually pretty neat. There's a gradient on this that's making it do that. That's pretty neat. I'll keep that in mind for a future tutorial. Now, when you create new assets in uh, After Effects itself, they're usually color coded, like shape layers will come in, uh, I think they're red, uh, pre-comps compositions, which are kind of like groups or folders of files. We have a longer tutorial on those up on our YouTube uh, channel. Uh, but those will usually come in, they're like sandy colored over here. But uh, I always believe in like color coding your, your layer so you know what's what. So let's say I'm like, I don't really like this color of the circle layer. It's kind of, it's a little hard for me to see. So you go over here, this is the label. I'm gonna click that color icon and I am going to change it to pink. 
There we go. So now it's a nice pink color. So that's a handy way for at a glance color coding all your uh, layers. And finally, I'm gonna show you how to search up a specific layer or layer property with the search bar. So let's say I'm like, hmm, let me think. I'm like, oh, I wanna edit the gradient on some of this stuff. So I don't wanna like toggle through every single one. Which one has a gradient? Where's the gradient? I'm gonna go to the search bar here. I'm gonna type in gradient and I'm gonna misspell it the first time. And then I'm gonna type in gradient. And now it's showing me all over where the gradient is applied. There's different kinds of gradients on each of these. And I could click on that and it'll open up in the effects panel here and I can mess around with it. But that's a quick way of me finding the, the gradient property. I could look up, uh, I don't know, rotation, you know, and it'll show me rotation and all the, uh, all the, the assets that have a rotation enabled on them. So there are other icons over here and there's also toggle switches and modes. There's a lot of different options over here. These uh, make up their own tutorial and we have a, a lot of other videos reviewing those uses. So definitely uh, check those out. Or if you have specific questions about them, like, you know, shoot us a message in our discord or in the comments section, you know, we'd love to hear from you. So yeah, that's the layer stack. Try experimenting with rearranging your own project layers at home or lock locking and soloing uh, some layers so you have more control over what you animate and edit. You can even try adding some effects to a few so you can see how layer order affects those.